and welcome back to mrs always right channel hello 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 happy saturday everybody hello look mrs always right is so married today she's got flowers on i'm so hot so i need something a bit flow like this so that i can feel chill cold and relaxing so how is everybody doing good Evening from UK and welcome back to my channel. It is Saturday, so I finished from work and it's hot here. So, first of all, a big thank you to Almighty God. Thank you, God, for everything. Thank you, Lord, for providing for us. So today is Saturday, so my time to share gospel to everybody. So first of all, when I say first of all, God. So God has been so kind to us, to everybody, including me and you. So give him a very big thank you and let us appreciate God first. And secondly, I am... Now, 18,000.9 subscribers so far. Oh, I think it's 19,000 something. I'm sorry if I just have a bit of mix up with it figure, but it is still enough to appreciate all my subscribers. Thank you very much. And God bless you. God bless you for always tuning in and listening to my channel so it is now time to introduce myself i am mrs always right also known as mrs miller or patience or imabo or daughter of zion so many names with different meaning and the significant so this is a day i'm going to share a different and nice topic of don't lose hope and never give up this is our time to share this scripture so i am so much overwhelmed with so much joy so today's word is i can do this this is what we have to say i can do this so I think everybody at the same, at some points, goes through that moment where they think, I can't do this. So for me, I have changed it to, I can do this. So we have to change it to, I can do this, instead of saying, I can't do this. So know that no matter how much, how close to the age, no matter how badly you feel, how much you feel how was and how bad it is never give up never lose hope never never lose hope things may get worse before they get better things may get worse before they get better that is my own situation because in everything there's always the deadline the beginning and the end so you can now see that when we say i can't do this it's always negative so you always say i can do it i can do it and i will do it and never lose hope in what you think you can do so how my face is a bit rough i'm sweating i'm so I don't worry about it now. So as long as I am okay. So now God will bring you through all circumstances. That is something about God. Let me just move it my chair closer. God will bring you through all circumstances. God will bring us through all circumstances as well. So it's going to be a general for everybody to listen if you have that strong faith in god 
God will bring you to something good. So, don't lose hope. Keep the glimmer of hope always in your heart because someone out there is looking for your smile. You see? No matter how hard it is, just struggle to smile. Smile is another weapon. Smile is another thing you can have that can confuse everybody. And people will say, oh, no matter what happened, they wonder why I, you are still smiling. Yes, because no matter what happened, wherever the devil or anybody is trying to make you look something bad for you and they wake up and they see you smiling, you see you happy, they will go back and they will be so frustrated because whatever they plan didn't work. That is how it is. So you keep smiling because you don't know who you are cheering up as well. So keep that smile on your face because someone out there is looking for your smile. Wipe your tears and take a, a deep breath and trust God. Remember, what appears to be complicated for you is easy for God. God is always there to give us a helping hand. He will make things to happen so that we can learn and grow with it. There is nothing that we cannot do in this world. There is nothing. So no matter what happened, God is always there to give us a helping hand. And he's always there at the end of it. In the end of your trouble problem, God turn it around and give you hope and make you smile and make your struggle turn into success. So, so take a deep breath and trust God. Remember what appears to be complicated is easy for God. So remember it is not based on your ability. It is not based on your ability. It is based on God's promises. So God has promises in his, in your life. And that promises is still there. Nobody can erase it. Nobody can stop it. So today, I'm very, 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 very strong. Because some days you get a bit tired. You don't have the energy to talk. Out. But today is a very special day. Because something has moved me to use this topic because anything can be possible with god nothing that is impossible people might think that they are very clever they can do things and get away with it but with god you can't run away from it god has a way of exposing the hidden and the bad thing in people's life so god has a long way to wait for it to happen because you can never never change god when god decides to disgrace you and make it happen god will do it so remember it is not based on your ability but it's based on god's promise he shall honor his word so stand on his word it is a day to believe for answered prayers and breakthrough don't let your problems be focused be your focus points did you hear that don't let your problem be a focus point in your life yeah keep your eyes on the solution whom is god and he will see you through all things rest assured you are in his hands problems are not stopped there are guidelines problems seems impossible to get through until it is over so understand that life has many different chapters however no different no know that no my friend that had a bad chapter doesn't mean that the last chapter of your book of life of life that is not so when you see the first chapter that is problem remember at the end the last the last chapter of the book you have in your life will be full of success and more colorful and more interesting so so there is no way you can let it affect you so there's always a defeat followed by chapters of victory so some so some chapters some chapters 
at the end of it will be chapters of victory maybe first few chapters someone is coming into the door first yeah it's okay <laughs> so so the last book of uh, something will be but uh, chapters of let me see always write that set of alarm so there is nothing we cannot do so this first chapter will be chapter of defeat followed by chapters of victory in the last day so this book is written in two chapters chapters of defeat and chapters of victory so you can the first one you can see it but then when you pass through it it ends up in chapters of victory that is how the end of your story will be so you have chapters of meltdown followed by chapters of breakthroughs you will also have chapters of sadness followed by chapters of joy chapters of health chapters of health issues following by chapters of overcoming so many chapters in the, your book so i said of all that is to say trust god and lean on him and lean on it and not your own understanding we are overcomers god will not take you to something that he will not bring you through he will not bring you through that is how god's work he will not take you some, to something that he will not bring you through be sure to make the best of our challenges be sure to make the best out of our challenges because that is going to be from that challenges you have victory from that challenges you have joy from that challenges you have a lot of breakthroughs of good news success everything favors and everything will be added unto you that is how your book should end in the last chapter victory and also god will bring you through and saturate you with his peace and don't forget to subscribe to mrs always right channel and also thank you again for watching this program and God bless you and have a wonderful